This video gaining a lot of traction online, and we couldn't believe it. A deputy using Taekwondo moves on an inmate. You see him warming up there, and there's the inmate behind the glass. Well, the independent monitor is now getting involved in this, finding more problems at the Denver Sheriff's Department. Jennifer Kovaleski got a copy of the letter sent to the city council members. And Jennifer, it says a lack of oversight could be one of the main problems behind these excessive force cases. That's right, Eric. This letter says that sergeants often fail to monitor deputies because they are bogged down with too much paperwork. One of several factors independent monitor Nick Mitchell outlined in this letter. Now we took our questions directly to Councilman Paul Lopez, who tells me that he asked Mitchell to look into the ongoing issues with excessive force. This 15 page report goes into great detail about the possible causes of these now countless infamous jailhouse videos. Most of the issues center around deputies' improper use of excessive force, including supervisory gaps at the jail, with sergeants putting paperwork before supervising duties, deficiencies in use of force reports. Mitchell writing there are significant flaws that compromise the investigation of these reports. The letter recommending deputies write more detailed reports and sergeants view video footage before making any decisions about use of force, like seen here most recently, with the deputy using Taekwondo on an inmate. In this case, Deputy Roberto Riena lied in his original use of force report, saying he was acting in self-defense. The video telling a different story. Deputy Riena was eventually suspended for 90 days without pay, but it took more than a year for him to face punishment for his actions. One of the many issues Councilman Lopez says needs to be addressed. If it's something that deserves uh, punishment, then we should be able to do that swiftly and move on. There's a backlog of these cases. I think it does take uh, way too long. Now, Lopez says he is already in discussion with other council members about the findings of this letter. He says he hopes the council can move forward on implementing some of these changes now, while the larger reform at the Denver Sheriff's Department continues. Jennifer Kovaleski, 7 News.